everyone. I like to share my journey with retinal detachments, vitreoctomy, then cataract surgery, and then second vitreoctomy surgery. It started with I seeing starburst on my right eye last September 2022. And that time I didn't think this as that serious because I'm healthy, very healthy all my life. And I knew the word retinal detachment, but I didn't really know specifically what those, those are. And now I am kind of know a lot about it because I went through almost how many years last since last September to now. Um, in February 2023. So from September, end of September, doctor treated my retina, retina tears with um, lasers at doctor's office. And one time, one doctor put the gas in it it was just uh, about 60% of gas in there. And after that gas is done, then I'm supposed to be free person again, but it didn't end it there. That didn't work. So doctor had to proceed operation at surgery center with a vitrectomy on October 18th, 2022. And at that time, when doctor performed vitrectomy, he found more detachment under my eyes inside of the uh, retinal area. So he had to put perfluorocarbon liquid top of the C3F8 gas, long-term gas. That long-term gas last about three months and I had to face down for eight weeks but doctor told me after seven weeks that I can uh, I don't have to lying down all the time at home I can move around but still if I can that put my face down that was long seven weeks oh my gosh my husband helped me so many different ways. I don't know if anybody who's out there going through what I went through without any help, I don't know if that person can do it well. I'm, I feel really sorry if somebody has to go through by themselves. They, need, they will need lots of help because you're not supposed to move around. You're supposed to face down first eight weeks and what concerned me and made me so scared was that no doctor can tell you after eight weeks you'll see again with your problem eye it's like a cast if you broke your arm then you put cast on it until cast is off which is gas in eye and test it doctor or nobody knows until that gas is out after eight weeks which took three months um so you are going through those difficult time putting your head down you can you have to get off from your work for how many eight weeks that really not helping me either like i've been working always I actually worked until my eyes broke like this. So I'm always, I've been always working and I enjoy that. So I don't mind, but this eight weeks was really tough time. Then it didn't end it there. Um, I knew because doctor informed me that cataract was there already forming 
because it I didn't have a cataract before. Maybe I had a really light one because of my age, probably, but nothing major. But um, vitrectomy surgery advanced the cataract, and of course, I I'm in that category, and I had to get a cataract surgery soon or later. But my original plan was after eight weeks end up three months i wanted to work for a while and just um i didn't know how my eye condition will be i thought maybe i can see it but i couldn't see it i cannot focus with this eyes i've been driving for one month and went to work and did a light work but i can i only looking through my left eye uh, to read everything and this one, I could see just for the depth. This one balanced, balanced this, so that's why I could drive, but I couldn't focus any letter or documents. One major thing that my plan that I uh, wanted to get a cataract surgery as soon as possible, because of my cataract, doctor couldn't uh, see a little bit of PFO perfluorocarbon liquid in my eyes so he had to take that one out that's the reason i got the second vitrectomy surgery after cataract surgery on january 31st uh so january 31st i got the two surgery in one day at surgery center um but it wasn't that bad it was i was really scared because First time last October, I didn't know anything. I just went there, got it done, and it was her, really her a lot. But I endure it, and now I know how much it will hurt again. So I was so scared. And last time they put me up general anesthesia, but this time it was twilight anesthesia, which is I'm kind conscious. So I can take doctor's order to look at the light while performing cataract surgery. So um, I was more scared. <laughs> and maybe that's why my eyes are bloodshot like this. I called doctor this morning. I had this blood pocket on the top of my eye last night and yesterday. Um, then I thought maybe today it will get better, but this morning, unfortunately, it came down. If you guys can see right here on the side. So I called doctor because my follow-up, second follow-up appointment is on Monday, but today is Friday. I just don't know if it is okay or not i thought it might be okay but i just wanted to double check and then front desk asked doctor doctor told front desk that this is normal but if i'm in any concern i can come in but i'm busy also and if it's normal i don't want to drive all the way there taking my husband's time and look at it what are they going to do so I'd rather see doctor on Monday. So I told them, it's okay, I'll just visit on Monday. So I think it's because of sutures, three su sutures inside, maybe that's keep um, bothering my eyes. So I, it's not getting better. And this time doctor told me, he already saw me next day. So surgery on January 31st and so me on February 1st. That time, doctor told me to put steroid drop every two hours and antibiotic four times a day. So I've been doing that, but I feel like it's um, sand in my eyes. I'm used to it by now, but it's if, as long as it's healing, then that's fine. I can. I went through a lot more, so this is nothing. <laughs> After two weeks or so, I can see 
clearly that's my really hope that it has to be because I went through a lot and I being I'm being patient. And one thing I'm really bad at is being patient, but this whole process taught me that I have to be patient and I have to rest some time and relax. I'm going to update you guys how I can see after I can see, but I just wanted to share this one with you. These terrible, scary eyes are normal. So if it's not normal, I will update you guys it's not normal. <laughs> And another thing is I'm not, please don't take uh, whatever I said here as the any kind of uh, medical advice or anything. And I'm really hoping that nobody go through what I went through. That's I really bottom of my heart. I don't want anybody to go through what I have been go through. So... I just wanted to share that with you and you are just have to lying down all the time, especially when you are always moving around like I did. It's really torture. But if you being positive, take uh, your doctor's order well and rest enough and eat healthy, then outcome will be the best. So I just wanted to share that with you and I'll update with you guys. Stay tuned. Peace. I wish you happiness, success, and joy in life. See you in next video.